Hey everybody, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wagoneer headquarters. And today I'm super excited to show you one of our very first Jeep Wagoneers that we've received on a lot. Uh, this is a 2022 Jeep Wagoneer Series 3. It has the premium group on it. The color is Baltic Gray Metallic. And we are shooting this video in 4K. So if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, smartphone, or television, I highly recommend turning them on right now because we're gonna go all the way around the vehicle, inside, check out all the options with the radio, and then we're gonna start it up, take a look with all the lights on on the outside and just get really up and close and personal with this particular Wagoneer. Um, first off, Baltic Gray is the color. You'll notice it does have the seven slotted grill on it. You get the Wagoneer block lettering on the hood and then actually has a little bit of etching on those letters, which gives it just a little bit of character. Um, you get the silver kind of chrome grill on there, the premium or performance LED running lights, headlights, and of course the LED fog lamps. Baltic gray, this is a new color for the Jeeps and it's got a lot of metal flake in it. Pretty good looking color. We're gonna take a look at the original window sticker uh, one little Easter egg that they have on here, they have a Wagoneer on the windshield, which they have on most of their uh, vehicles. You also have the American flag. Now you might say that's backwards, but what it symbolizes is moving forward and the flag's flying to the back as if the vehicle's moving forward, so that's pretty cool. We'll take a look at the original window sticker. I'm not gonna go through everything, but feel free to uh, pause it at any point. Uh, you can see 2022 Wagoneer Series 3. Comes with the 5.7 V8 Hemi with the e-torque. Eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left is standard equipment. And uh, let's see if I can get that to focus better. There we go. Interior features, you get the 10.25 inch cluster display, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, um, everything you see there, heated, cooled seats, third row seats, exterior LED headlamps, hands-free power gate, the tow package, 20-inch uh, aluminum wheels with the black noise pockets. Your optional equipment starts right there. The Baltic Gray Metallic is a $595 option. Second row seating group, which gives you the captain's chairs, um, with the power tilt slide is $595. Premium group is a $5,495 option. Gives you the reversible cargo mat, luxury front and rear floor mats, the foldable cargo shade, tripane panoramic sunroof, power deployable running boards, adjustable roof rack, or roof rail crossbars, 22 inch polished aluminum wheels with the black noise pockets, the 285-45 R22 um, black sidewall all season tires and then it comes with the Macintosh MX950 entertainment system with 19 speakers front passenger interactive display is 1195 total MSRP is 86725 if you want to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website to get all the pricing and incentives on this particular particular vehicle 300 or 3 year 36000 mile bumper to bumper 5 year 60 powertrain your miles per gallon are 15 city, 20 highway, and 17 combined. And it's not been rated for crash test ratings quite yet. Um, first thing is you get those nice wide step bars, and I will explain in just a little bit why they're really nice that they're wide like that. But you also get the 22 inch rims with the premium group, and it's kind of a gray insert, black noise they call it, and the polished aluminum wheels, really good looking. This one has the Goodyear Eagle Touring tires. Remember, these are 285-45 R22s. 
do get cheap in that tail lamp there. Just trying to give you a really good overview. So this one does have the towing package and this vehicle can tow up to 10,000 pounds, um, which makes it a leader in its class when you compare it to the Ford Expedition. That's only gonna tow 9,300 pounds and the Chevy Tahoe will only pull a measly 8,400 pounds. So definitely a class leader when it comes to towing, which is really, you know, something that the Jeep Chrysler Dodge lineup was lacking as far as a full size SUV that can tow. Um, so now they've got it with the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer. Uh, the premium carpet floor mats, they're almost like a really plush floor mats. This is your uh, receiver hitch cover. You can see there's actually three tabs on it to uh, get that off. And then these seats do fold down power wise. And that's all the way down so you can see just how nice and flat that those fold down. And they come up nicely as well. And those buttons are right there. You can actually fold the second row down as well. And then there's a 12 volt uh, power point back here. Some tie downs. This is your um, sunshade for the windshield. And then you get, those are your roof rails. They store nicely back here. And you get that speaker back here. And then you can close this gate, that button. It'll beep at you three times and then begin its descent. Get that same block lettering on the back. This one does have the capless fuel fill, which is a nice feature. Notice you get the gloss black trim around the windows, the fender flares. Of course, it's going to have four wheel disc brakes. Let me get the gloss black trim on the mirrors as well. You also get a little Jeep logo right there. Um, these are heated power mirrors, blind spot monitoring, directional signals on them. They do fold in just a little bit. Inside the Series 3 group gives you the black leather interior. Both the seats are heated and cooled and power in the front. You get lumbar as well. Factory, those plush floor mats, they got a little metal tab on them as well. Auto headlamps, power pedals, power telescopic, and tilt steering wheel. Get the flat bottom steering wheel. Macintosh sound system, gloss black trim. The nice wood grain trim on there. Memory driver seat. We'll hop inside, take a look at the information center and the radio, and everything that this truck, or that this Wagoneer has to offer. So I can't really dim down this, um, but I can show you. It's got the digital speedometer. Um, remember, that's the 10.25. You have all your different gauges. You can uh, bring up all this stuff. Put in your map, your miles per gallon, the music. Uh, this is your ride height. Um, you can actually select them and then you can um, change all that stuff in there. So we could spend hours on that. I'm just going through the general overview of the vehicle today though. Here's your adaptive cruise control and regular cruise controls. Get the nice wood grain trim on the steering wheel and the flat bottom on there. And the steering wheel, first time I ever got in a Wagoneer, you can tell just the quality of material that they use for the steering wheel is kind of a precursor to what you're getting with the whole vehicle. Uh, Bluetooth controls, information center controls on there as well. The 10.1 Uconnect 5C radio is a, a really nice system. It's apparently five times does 
stuff five times faster than the 4C radio. Has obviously has the factory navigation system on it, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You can get your different screens here. You can make whatever you want, full screen, um, Sirius, FM, all that good stuff. You have your climate controls here as well, including your dual climate controls, your heated seats, cooled seats, all that good stuff. You get the buttons on the side here as well. And uh, you can go to the vehicle. You can put the second row headrest down, third row headrest down, auto dimming mirror. You can turn the passenger side screen on or off. Um, power side steps, you can turn those off as well or on. Um, Just a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff that you can do on this vehicle. Uh, you can check out the rear camera. Notice how nice and HD that is, crystal clear. You can zoom in over the receiver hitch to get hooked up to your boat camper or trailer the first time every time. And if you're buying a Wagoneer, you're probably going to be using that feature a lot. And then you have all your different apps and stuff that you can do here. Um, has Android Auto. Apple CarPlay, you can do those wirelessly now um, without a, a cord. So that's a really nice feature of the Uconnect, Uconnect 5. Um, the Uconnect 5 radio also gives you the off-road pages. So you can check out your latitude, longitude, um, your steering angle, transfer case, all that good stuff. You got your accessory gauges here, pitch and roll. You can select your terrain um, with the Quadratrack 2. You can put it in the snow, sand, mud. Um, you can also put it in the sport. You get on the Jeep racetrack there. And then you can do your suspension, uh, your ride height, and all that good stuff. And notice you have your latitude, longitude, and altitude there as well. So you can do all that off-road pages, really cool stuff. And then... They have this other setting in here, which is pretty cool, which we'll do. You got your weather, your vehicle. Um, they have this relax mode. Now, one of the only reasons I'm doing this is because, um, number one, it's pretty cool. So it actually will play some ambient music slash noise and all the screens will light up with the predetermined graphics and visual display that they have and then you can change it so they this is one of them my favorite is the fireplace and that is pretty darn cool Then they have the aquarium, and I'll show you the aquarium just because this one has an Easter egg on it. You probably wouldn't expect to find an Easter egg on these pages, but if you look right down there when the light hits it just right, it says 1963. That was the year that the Wagoneer was first made, so that's pretty cool. And just for fun, I'll show you the other ones. We have the Aura, which was the first one we were on. We have the Forest, which is kind of, you're going through a very hazy wooded area. And then you get the topographic. This is one of the coolest ones too, in my opinion. So just a lot of really neat stuff that you can do. Um, with this particular app on here and the sound in this vehicle is amazing you get the nice leather dash as well um, continuing on with the review here uh, dual climate controls you got your normal climate controls so you can do them up here you can do them down here which has been pretty much standard for the uconnect systems uh, throughout their lifetime with dodge chrysler jeep and ram you got your wireless cell phone charge pad 
you know, your start-stop capabilities, lane departure warnings, stability control. Um, you also have your stability, I'm sorry, hazard lights, parking sensors, tow haul mode, and then um, I accidentally touched the four-wheel drive low. You also have a neutral setting uh, for flat towing. 8-speed automatic transmission, you have your, the new style Jeep key fobs, they're kind of rectangular, remote start on there, power lift gate, you can also lower the entry level right there. You get the nice wood grain trim throughout the center console, you do get a little storage container, USB, USB-C, and uh, when this is down, that's all gloss black. And uh, you can see just the styling cues on this. This one has the tri-pane panoramic sunroof. So the front part right here, that's power. The second row is fixed and the third row is fixed. Uh, the second, row, second and first row have a power sunshade. Um, and I believe the back one does too. You have your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lane systems, assist and SOS, map lights, and all the sunroof and sunshade controls, auto dimming mirror. This one also has heads up display. So if you look up in the windshield, you can see your digital speedometer up there. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just gonna turn the vehicle off for a minute and uh, we're gonna check out the second row seats and then we'll finish it off with a Starting it up, taking a look under the hood, talking a little bit about the 5.7 Hemi in this one. So this one has the uh, second row bucket seat group. Um, these seats are adjustable. See, they go forward and back. And then they have the power tilt to get to the third row, which is pretty convenient. And then they slide like so. Get a nice plush floor mat back here as well. And then when they go back like that, you do have to readjust them. The trim back here is all the same as the front on the doors. You get your rear air controls back here, heated seat buttons, 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in. Two USBs, two USB-Cs, a 12 volt power point, and cup holders. Um, so the big thing with this vehicle is the third row. And the amount of room that you get back here, it's, this vehicle is 10 inches longer than, than the Grand Cherokee L. You get power backrest control, a USB, USB-C. And uh, I can tell you, I'm six foot. And I've got, I would say, five to six inches to the seat in front of me. And I am very comfortable. I probably have four to five inches of headroom. And it's just, the seats are really comfortable. I, I don't know what else to say other than plenty of room, very comfortable. I could sit back here for an extended amount of time. I have good view of the window um, from where I'm sitting. And just a, just a really nice, just a really nice place to be. And that's the big thing with this vehicle. It's a third row, great amount of seating, um, great amount of room for legs. And the other thing is getting out of this thing, you don't have to bend over really far. You can kind of just squat a little bit. And then the really nice thing are these really big running boards, which allow you to step out easily um, you're not going to slip off of them, and it's uh, it's just really nice. Just a really nice third row vehicle. Child safety locks on the back doors. I can show you how nice and smooth those running boards work. We'll take a look under the hood. Then I'll start it up and we'll do the final walk around here. Thanks for sticking around. Um, 
Now under the hood, we have the 5.7 liter V8 Hemi engine. It has uh, the multiple displacement system where it'll shut off for the cylinders. It's also hooked up to the mild hybrid system, 48 volts, um, e-torque system as uh, Chrysler calls it, and uh, 392 horsepower, 404 foot-pounds of torque, which does give you that 10,000 pound towing capacity. You get this really cool Wagoneer badge on the shroud there. Everything's labeled pretty nice and easy and it's still a Hemi, you know? That's, that's the big thing. Mission sticker, shocks for the hood. And uh, we'll start it up and do a final walk around with all those lights on. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully you enjoyed the video and we're able to get a little bit out of it. I know I really enjoy making the videos and getting to see all the new products that are coming out from Jeep and Chrysler. I believe that was the air suspension. Got the nice LED lights on the back. Once again, Baltic gray. Good looking color. Here are all those headlights, running lights, fog lights. Really a sweet ride. Thanks for checking out the video. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, Wagoneers, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications, you'll get updates every time we do videos here at Summit Auto. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wagoneer videos like this one in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we are super excited to be offering the 2022 Jeep Wagoneer in Baltic Gray. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share.